Welcome back friends. In this video, we are going to get started with creating lists in Python. Specifically, we are going to create lists that hold the menu items as well as the prices for those items. For example, uh, milkshake, ice cream, chocolate, and so on and so forth. We are going to create these lists. This exercise is going to get us thinking about lists once again. However, before I get into the Python and the related syntax, let me just recap a little bit. Let us see what lists are and let us see how we were using these in Scratch. So recall that lists are basically big brothers of variables. Variables themselves are like containers, boxes in which information can be stored and a name can be given. Now, if variables are like the separate containers, we can imagine lists to be this structure where all these boxes are connected to each other, for example, Sunday until Saturday. And I can access, open up, modify any item that I wish to. We have already seen this diagram. And in fact, we have seen many examples of lists uh, in Scratch. And we know how powerful they can become if they are used in the, right, in the correct way. Let us recall how did we use lists in Scratch. So how did we create a list? Well, we said make a, you know two variables here they said make a list and now i have to give my list of names to say i say menu i say let it be for all sprites and thereafter you know we always said that when the program started please go and delete all elements of a list because otherwise that causes problem so i did that and now if i wanted to give some kind of an initial value to our list we could do that so for example i could say add um, you know maybe i can say add milkshake uh, to, to menu, then I can add, let's say, I can duplicate this and add, for example, you know, say ice cream to the list. Um, I can go and add, say, for instance, chocolate. I mean, I can add as many elements as I want. And with this done, if I click the flag, my list would be now ready. Notice I've got three items here. They are milkshake, ice cream, chocolate, and the list is available to me visually in Scratch. In fact, just to make this a little bit more solid, I'm also going to show you the fortune teller program, which we have project, which we have done. In fact, we did exactly this thing. When the game started, we first created a list of all the answers that the wizard could provide. And on, we did exactly this. Uh, we deleted all of the wizard answers, and then we went ahead and added all these elements. Now you may want to go and revise this a little bit, but the ideas that we did there are going to indeed continue into Python. Just that now, the syntax is what we have to worry about. The concept of the list is exactly the same. The usage of list is also exactly the same. But we have to now see how do we do all this in Python. Now, having seen what lists are, how do we, you know, uh, you know, sort of recover, say, recap a little bit about how we did this in Scratch. Let's come to Python. In fact, it turns out that to create a list in Python requires very few steps. Remember in Scratch, we were first, you know, creating, giving a name, then saying deleting everything and then adding all the elements. If I want to do the same exact thing in Python, all I really have to do is to say menu. Um, and I'm going to just use the important bit here is menu equals to, and I'm going to put my values inside these square brackets. Notice these are square brackets, and this is very important. So you must put a square bracket. But beyond this, I can say milkshake. Uh, you know, then I can say, for example, ice cream, uh, you know, I'm going to just add all these different elements uh, to my list here, milkshake, ice cream, uh, let's say chocolate. And next, I'm going to add, say, eclairs. And I'm going to add, you know, uh, say, a cupcake. Cupcake. All right, let's just call it cupcake. Now, this is all I really need to do to create a list and initialize it to, you know, uh, these different values. If I run this list, uh, if I run this program, I, you know, and I say I enter menu, notice menu is now as a list. It's available to me. So menu contains milkshake, ice cream, chocolate, eclairs, and cupcake. Very, very similar to Scratch. In fact, a lot simpler syntax. Now, before I move forward, I want to highlight one thing, uh, which may be a question in your mind. Why is it that I have added milkshake, ice cream, chocolate, etc. with these quotation marks? What happened if I, let's say, went and did this? Right now, this is going to result in an error because though it worked in Scratch, because 
you know, and we have seen this before, the, the name milkshake is not defined. So the interpreter does not know what you mean by milkshake. However, if I put this in, for example, a single quotes, then it's becoming like a name. It's in fact becoming a string. And the interpreter then it knows that it's going to just put this exact thing inside a inside the list so it doesn't complain now because it knows it can put so if i look at for example menu it knows what milkshake means because it's inside an inverted quotes and it just directly put that the entire string into the list now having created this list let's create one more list now once again the 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 you know the process of creating list is similar i'm going to say price uh, for example the list price and again i give square brackets extremely important square brackets a must and I add, for example, this time around, I add numbers. Uh, so for instance, I say maybe 99.99, say 120.99, say 89.99, uh, 37.99, and say 51.99. Now, again, you can choose to have a different menu. You can choose to have a different set of prices. You can, in fact, not do a bakery at all. It's entirely up to you. But the principle remains the same that we have created two lists. If I run this now, I have got a list called menu, which is as you saw there, milkshake, ice cream, chocolate, uh, eclairs and cupcake. Now I have also got a list called, not prints, it's called price. And this notice is also being shown in a square bracket. This is all the numbers that we have created. Now, while in Scratch, it was a little bit more steps to do something like this. But Scratch also had this amazing benefit that it was quite visual. As we saw, the moment we created a list, it used to display itself here. And that somehow helped us to kind of correlate what's going on. Now, since we do not have that here, I have tried to create that visualization for you. Uh, I hope this will help you. So what have we really done here, right? Like I said, the concept is exactly what we were doing in Scratch. We have created two lists. Lists are variables with index so here what's happening is that i've got five say containers inside this list they are indexed from zero until four now this is different from scratch scratch indexing was one to five but you know that in python every indexing starts from zero so this should not surprise us zero to four we'll look at indexing more closely in the next uh, you know the next video but we have now two lists the list pr price also has five items indexed from zero to four now, I want to highlight a few points before we go on. Number one, that in this list menu, every item is a string. Now, what does a string mean? Well, string is just a collection of characters. You can think of strings largely as names, um, as we have seen before. Although you can have, let's say, one, two, three, four, five inside a string also being seen as a string. Strings are always given with characters. And that's why I've also shown that over here. On the other hand, the list price here has all numbers. and Specifically, we have chosen these numbers to have decimal places because these are called floats. So there are, you know, to us, maybe numbers are just numbers, but to the Python interpreter, numbers are two types. One is a number with decimal places and one with the numbers with no decimal place. And we, in fact, have an example of that right here. Look at the indices. Now, indices are always 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. They are not 0, 0.0, 0, 0.1 or say 1.0, 2.0, and so on and so forth. In fact, it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and these are called integers. Now, we are going to look at all of this more closely as we go along, but the point is that lists can contain pretty much anything, strings, floats, integers. In fact, you can also have mixed items in the list, which, which means some items are integers, some are, let's say, uh, strings, some are floats, but here we are keeping clean the list menu only has strings the list price only has floating point numbers which means numbers with the decimal place and always indices are integers now before we wrap this up i want you to realize that this particular list or rather these particular lists are perfectly in sync now what do i mean by that if you look at them side by side imagine if i did not publish these indices if I look at them side by side, they look like a restaurant menu. So where I, I, I go and read, okay, milkshake, it costs me, say, 99.99. Ice cream it costs me, say, 120.99. Chocolate costs me, 89.99, and so on and so forth. This is intentional because later on, we are going to use these properties, uh, you know, in building up our project. I hope this gave you an idea about what lists are, how do we create them, 
and we are going to see more uses of lists as we go along in the subsequent videos. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.